from this month we will be seeing the last happening of the year especially from this month july august september october november before december we'll begin to see the last happenings of the year you see when it comes to god there's never a month or a year that god does not have budget for his people god is the creator of the whole universe the maker of everything that owns all the power all authority in heaven on earth under this earth they are all in his hands and he makes use of them the wherever he wants to make use of them so i want to say to you wherever you're watching me congratulations to being part of this very program this program is made to bless your life this program is made to favor you this is a time that god will declare those things that you are believing god for the moon is a month of your favor is a month of launch out is a month of gathering all and the lord put in my mouth he said tomorrow i'm going to declare and share to the people of god over 100 billion dollars i don't know how it's going to happen but god is aware of it all and god has the final say and he knows what he definitely want to do for his people so Tomorrow is going to be a day of spiritual and prophetic upliftment. So, wherever you're watching me, get yourself ready because God has counted you as among the people that must be blessed by the Lord. Because the wild wind is going to blow and in the realm of the spirit, things will happen that will propel the blessings that God is prepared for his people to enter into their heads. I'm not going to be operating on my power. I'm not going to be operating on my strength. I'm only going to operate by the power of the Spirit. And if I'm going to operate by the power of the Spirit, something new will happen. Something will happen in the name of Jesus. And what I said that will happen, will surely happen. Whether the devil likes it or not, God is prepared to do something. And what God is going to do for you, will no man stop. You know, the world is, is full of stopping people and hindering people. But when it comes to God, God will never let the world hinder you or stop you from getting those things that God has mandated to be given to you. So, get yourself ready. And I'm still your prophet, Prophet Dr. David King Leo Elijah, the major prophet of the Most High, that God is using to speak to the whole world. I'm not speaking to the world by my own power or by my knowledge. I'm speaking to the world by the power of the Holy Ghost and God and God alone. Not man, but God himself and himself alone. I have no contribution. I am just a vessel that God has chosen to use for his glory. And to God alone will be the glory forever and ever. And I refuse to be identified. The only person that must be identified is the creator of the whole universe. He is the one doing all and all. He chooses whatever he wants and whatever he wants is what he will do. So let all the glory be to the creator of the whole universe, to the God who has done it fit and have chosen to use me for his glory. So wherever you are, I am in the moment of prophecy. When it comes to prophecy, there are people God has given the mandate to prophesy. And I have the mandate to prophesy. And the mandate to prophesy is already given to me with the authority to prophesy. And if you look at what is happening all over the world, everything I have prophesied has all come to pass. And today, as I begin to prophesy, people's opportunity will be coming to them. Doors will be opening. People will be lifted up. And a lot of good things will definitely come on your way. God will never restrict anything good from coming to you. So, if you are here for the first time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Possibility Television, so that you can always get me for the first time. Anytime I come online, you will get me and get the message and the prophecy raw before any other person. And also, if you are uh, on Facebook, quickly, as quick as possible, make sure you follow me on that same Facebook page, glorious mount of possibility church and also don't forget that we have just launched our television station which is free to air you can uh, uh, as well scan your decoder you will see possibility tv that is our channel and as i'm live here i'm also live on possibility television and as i'm live on possibility television whatever is discharged here will definitely enter into your hand and what god is doing for you will no man take away from you in the name of jesus christ so 
this evening that you're watching me, I know that many of you are far away. Many of you are close. And many of you are just watching for the first time. So get yourself ready. Get your Bibles and get your books so that whatever is prophesied, you can as well pencil it down. Because when it begins to happen, you will say, oh, what a prophet of God. And what I've said has actually come to pass. So I enter again in the realm of the spirit. The Lord took me straight away because I begin to look at these things that I'm seeing unveiling in the realm of the spirit. I begin to move again in the realm of the spirit. And then I see spiritually where there was this conflict. And what is this conflict? I see the conflict between the evil and the good especially in the country called Nigeria, the country of Nigeria. I begin to look at what is called the evil and good. I say, what is the conflict between the evil and good? God said, it is time that God is about to elevate good in terms that the, the, the good, or, what, or how do I put it? He said, you want to elevate what is called the right thing to be in place. That, that is a fight in the realm of the spirit between darkness and the light. And I begin to ask, what is this light all about? And God say, the light is the truth. The truth is the perfect thing and the perfect will of God and the thing that is made for the people. Because the people in here are the people that God wants to use and evangelize the world. But darkness has not allowed the light to shine. And so the light and the darkness are in conflict. And I see the conflict and God say, after the rain and shine, the good will reign. The right thing must come in place. Whether the devil like it or not, or whatever that wants to happen, whether this world is ready or the Nigeria is ready, the will of God must be done. The poor masses, the innocent citizen, the people that are just concerned about to wake up in the morning, go to their normal businesses and come back and do what they need to do. God said because of them, God is working. And at the end of it all, the will of God must prevail. Pray for the state called Imo State. Pray for Imo State because I see something that has never happened happening there. Something that has never happened. You know, I said last time people should pray for Imo State. And I keep on praying and saying, God, let your will and your will alone be done. For I know that in the heaven and on the earth, God knows it all. Because I look at Imo State, I see God visiting Imo State. I don't know how God wants to visit the state, Imo State, but God will visit. Because when I look at the state, I see God say, is interested in Imo State, is interested in all the eastern states, and also interested in all these things happening in Nigeria. God say, is fully interested. And I look at people, I see people that are entering inside the plane, I see a lot of people traveling, traveling, traveling abroad, traveling abroad. And God say, no need of troubling yourself. You want to travel abroad, you want to run away. He said, people should stop running or not running. That everything is going to be good. Everything is going to be good. The will of God will prevail. Even in the midst of darkness, the will of God will surely prevail. Because God is in heaven. And God is not a man. The will of God will prevail in the church. The will of God will prevail in the country and everywhere. And the right thing must be the way it ought to be. Because there is God in heaven that is called the most powerful God. And then God said, everybody should begin to change. Especially the people that has wickedness. Drop your wickedness because wickedness will never pay anybody. Wickedness is not good for anybody. And wickedness is not good for any country. Wickedness is not good for any individual. Wickedness belittle people. Wickedness reduces people. Wickedness destroys people. But when it comes to righteousness, righteousness exalts a nation. Righteousness exalts the people. And what is the righteousness? Righteousness is fair to fellow human being. The righteousness is regard your brother, your sister, your people as you regard yourself. That is righteousness. And that one continue. And the Lord begin to open my eyes. In the realm of the spirit, I begin to see the light of God shining from the east. The light begin to shine. And I see the, the, the rising of the sun. And I see something happening to the glory of God. And at the end of it all, the name of the Lord become praise forever and ever. 
And the Lord said, Lamentation. Lamentation. I began to ask, What is lamentation? God said, The cry, cry of the people, cry of the innocent, cry has come to his ear. God is going to help us. God is going to step in. Let not your heart be troubled. Wherever you are, believe in God, trust in God, have hope that God is not tired. God is still very much interested. And then nothing happens behind God. Anything that must happen, must happen with God's consent. God is aware of everything. To the name of the Lord must be the glory forever. For God will never fold his hands and allow his people to perish. We are not going to perish. God is going to stand and deliver his children. God is going to deliver you. God is going to set you free. God is going to defend you. God is going to fight for you. And God is going to liberate you. And God is going to give hope. And God is going to open the door. And God is going to elevate these children. That's what is called spiritual elevation. The spiritual elevation is that God is going to take us beyond our imagination, beyond our thinking, and beyond our thought. And when God begins to take us beyond our thinking, our thought, he's taking us higher, higher. All that God needs from you is faith. All that God needs from you is belief. All that God needs from you is trust and obey. Trust God and obey God. When you trust him and obey God, he will not forsake you. The Lord God Almighty asked me a question because when I enter into the realm of the spirit, I begin to look at everything that is happening everywhere and my heart begin to melt. God said, no, let not your heart melt. And I asked why. He said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, I am the I am. I am the beginning and I am the end. He said, I am the lion of the tribe of Judah. He said, I made the heavens and I made the earth. He said, the heart of everyone is right in his hands. He said, nothing happens at his back. Everything happens in the presence of God. Even in the kingdom of the darkness or in the kingdom of the light, everything happens right in the presence of God. There is no darkness with God. In the darkest darkness, God is seeing it the same like light. So in the darkest of the darkest it all, God knows everything. And God is working for you and working for me. Let nobody's heart trouble him. There's God in heaven and he's the most powerful. He will deliver his people, will save his children, he will defend us, he will make things alright. He's going to make all things alright. He's going to repair the damages. God will repair every damage and God is going to repair every loss that we have. I don't know the loss that you have. I don't know the areas you have lost things that is making you to cry. The Lord God said, I should tell you not to cry. He's going to make all things all right. He's going to repair all the damages and open the door wider and wider. And the world will see and they will bring glory to the name of the Lord. The Lord also opened my eyes in the realm of the spirit. I see where secrets are opening. I begin to ask, what are the secrets? What are the secrets? I don't know the reason of the secret, but a lot of secrets begin to open. And I begin to hear announcement. And when I begin to hear announcement, I said, what is the announcement for? The Lord now said, this announcement is that every area that is blocked is going to open up again. I don't know the areas that are blocked. I don't know the things that are blocked. But I see we are borders open and every area that are blocked opening to the glory of God. And I see what is called international calls and the local calls everywhere to the glory of God. Those calls may be for you to be blessed or for you to be favored or for something good to be done for you. But I see calls here and there and the will of God become the order of the day. Because the light will continually to shine even in darkness. And darkness will never comprehend it. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God and also believe in the word of God. And when you believe in God and his word, there is nothing that the enemy can do to you. The Lord will continue to uphold his children. He said, I did not ask you to seek me in vain. If I have nothing to do for you, I will not call you to myself. Because he has something to do for us. That is why he has called us to himself. And he has called us to his marvelous light. And we will remain in the light of God. And grow in the light of God. And remain for the light and the light only. All the days of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to say, if you are in pain. Or you are crying. Or there is anything 
that has made you to feel somehow or truncated or somehow you are bothered, your heart bleeds, let God judge the case. Let God fight the battle. Let God have his way, especially in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul, and in your body. God can never judge the case and not comfort you. God can never judge the case and not have mercy on his children. God can never judge the case and not justify his people. We are in the season of justification. And God definitely is going to justify his people. God will justify you and God will justify me and God will justify every one of us. And while God begins to justify every one of us, God begins to open the door and God begins to command his blessings to come upon us. And we will not die but live to the glory of God, to declare the goodness of God in the land of the living, to declare the faithfulness of God in the land of the living. We will not die. We will not die. And I want to tell you, there is what is called in the realm of the spirit, spiritual intervention. Heaven is intervening in every matter that concerns you. Because in the realm of the spirit, the Lord opened my eyes and I begin to see people in the fear of death begin to run elter skelter and i said where are these people running to and god says some of these people are running to slavery i will never be a slave this is why i wrote a song i said i will never never be a slave again jesus has made me to be free never never i will never never be a slave again jesus has made me to be free never never I will never, never, never be a slave again. Jesus, Jesus has made me to be free. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, oh, oh, oh. I will never, never be a slave again. Yo. I will never, never be a slave again. Yo. I will never be a slave again. Yo. Jesus has made me to be free. I'll never be a slave again, no way, no, I will never be a slave again. I'll never be a slave again, no way, no, I will I'll never be a slave again. I'll never, never be a slave again. Jesus has made me to be free. Never, never, I'll never, never be a slave again. Jesus has made me to be free.